Don Pakula here, and tonight I have a very special guest who is a master, an absolute master at knowing and being able to read not just your body language, but also how the mind works and how maybe you have the ability to do way more, way more in your life than you're currently able to do. And I'm not talking about having to do a ton of work to fix it. All you got to do is know some of the secrets that she has. Let me bring in Elena Petrescu. Elena, it is so good to see you. And and what I wanted to have you on, you have an event coming up that you're going to be sharing a lot of what you learn and, and, and what you teach corporations and companies and, and maximizing their performance, their results. But where, let me start here. Where did you get into body language expert and, and, and the hypnotist side? Where did you? What started this? So hi, Don. Thank you for having me on. Um, well, I have a background in finance. And back in 2011, I had one client who came to me. And I told him I can literally put $15,000 in, in your pocket. And this client said to me, well, I don't want charity. I don't want government's charity. So I was not able to convince him to get this refund. So I realized that there was a limiting belief. So I wanted to learn everything about how the mind works. So I went and I trained as a hypnotist. And I started to help people. And as I was helping people, I realized that People that have gone through traumas and when we, people who go through trauma, it's very hard for them sometimes to express themselves, especially when it comes to pain and shame, shame. So then I realized, okay, I need to understand what they really uh, are communicating without words. So I, I Googled and I found a very good company in Belgium. It's called Center for Body Language. I trained with them. I did so well in their in their um, exams. I got 98%. Wow. So the next thing I know, they came to me and they said, we want to offer you the partnership so that you can teach and train um, the certification program for the entire Canada. So that's when I started really to put this together. And I've been helping people um, use the hypnosis component to eliminate self-imposed limitations, fear, stress, anxiety, and also to understand body language because 55% of our communications is nonverbal. And yet mm -hmm. very few people out there understand. Um, they always focus on the words rather than focusing on the body, what the body is communicating. Gotcha. And I'm always, I'm always a little like stiffer around people who know body language and even more so about people who, who teach it and are experts in it. Cause I'm always worried that like, okay, she sees something in what I'm doing that, that is going to tear off into something. I'm, I'm not even thinking I'm not, I'm not nervous. I'm not, I'm not questioning. I just, I try to, I try to like, like, okay, don't show any more, but what, what are some easy things that maybe you teach early on? What are some easy things we can look for? Maybe we don't even notice about ourselves. Um, what, what, what can we, what can we look for? Easy, easy. Give me something easy. So sometimes the, the, the words may say something, for example, I'll give you an example. Someone may say, I'm very happy in my job, but their face doesn't show that smile, that happiness smile. So then you have to say, well, are they really that happy? Right. That's one easy thing to, yep. to kind of look at. Sometimes people um, may, I mean, if you look even politicians, for example, they may say, I'm really sad about that incident, but yet they don't show any sadness on uh, their face. So it's kind of, there's an alignment issue in terms of what we're saying and what we're feeling and what you're sensing, but also what you're observing, right? So this is something you're doing. You probably can't turn this off, can you? Once you have this and master it, it's kind of, <laughs> it's like riding a bike. It doesn't go away. That's right. It's like having this invisible glasses where you can see certain things that very few people out there can see and you develop this, this awareness. And it, after a while it comes automatically because you, as you focus on, on the facial emotions, which, by the way, are universal. Every culture out there shows them the exact same way, whereas the body language, certain cultures show them a little differently. Ah, but okay. facial emotions are universal. So, and it comes from the limbic system. So what, what that means is what the brain feels, what your body feels, um, what you're experiencing in terms of emotions will show up on your face. That's the first thing that will show up. And then, of course, the body will follow because it's it's with mind and body are connected. 
And then you take this even a step further in terms of where you work with companies. What, what are some of the main challenges they come to you with and, and, and that you're able to solve? So if we're talking about leadership, they all want to have a better relationship with their with their employees, with their team members, with their managers. So sometimes, you know, um, CEOs sometimes tend to have that chip on their shoulders and sometimes they they have a hard time um, developing that empathy that is required as a leadership. So that's one of the things that I help them develop empathy and by like understanding body language increases your empathy your your emotional intelligence by 10 percent and then we go beyond that we we teach them uh how to communicate there are certain ways when you see certain emotions you you have to first check your body language and change your body language and then change your wording so that you are able to change um, the person that's standing in front of you so that you can make that a win-win situation. So we combine, I combine part of it, uh, hypnosis and then body language as well. Gotcha. And, and that's, so it becomes like this superpower. And then ever this company is, once you, once you become aware of it, it's, it's one of those things that you're probably worried that people are going to think, at least I would be, they're going to think I'm reading them. They're going to think that I have this, but they don't really even notice, do they? Like the normal people are kind of oblivious to this, these things, right? Right, because very few people out there can can read body language, and and what happens? Most people tend to focus on the words mm -hmm. rather than what the body is communicating, and and I can tell you that sometimes we may speak something, but the body will show something different. And being able to pick those to to be aware and and determine that, um, it gives you an opportunity to say, okay. Um, I can see that when they're saying, oh, I'm really happy to see you, but they're not yeah. showing me a happy smile, then I know that they're really not happy to see me. Yeah. So, for example, a happy smile is where both corners of the mouth go upwards. That would be a happy smile. Now, sometimes people, when they meet with you, they may say, I'm really happy to see you, but only one corner of the mouth goes up. I'm trying that to do it right now. Yeah, <laughs> that really means contempt. Right? Oh, look at that. So when you see that, you have to ask yourself, "Is are they really happy to meet me? So, uh, and those are very small things. Now, yeah. um, that when you notice that, you want to change your body language and you want to change because that when someone shows you contempt, that what really it means is I'm better than you. I mm. know more. I'm mm. I'm better. So you gotta use the in the course. There are certain conversation techniques that we use mm -hmm. so that you can actually win that person. So yeah. then you yeah. that becomes uh, that meeting becomes a win-win situation where it's good for them and it's good for you. Um, so that way uh, you don't walk away empty-handed and you know. Well, I, I feel at times with my kids, like I'm talking to a wall sometimes, right? And I don't get anywhere. I can have the best logical argument, but if I, if I don't have that empathy and that rapport and I, and, and I can't see it, I, I, I'm just wasting my time, wasting my breath. It's not, it's not sinking in. So that is such an unfair advantage to have this. And, I'm, and, and by the way, can I talk a little bit about what you're doing? You have an event coming up. That's and, right. and is that okay? Yeah. Can, I, can I share a little bit about that? Absolutely. Okay. So, so um, I don't know when you're watching this. And I don't know if she's even doing what she's doing at this level anymore because what she's putting together for March, this is now January 2024, she's putting together in, in March of this year a course that, Elena, I, I can't believe what you're charging for it. Uh, I think it needs a zero, if not two zeros added on. But if you can if you can pick up one or two things from what she's going to show you, um, it's absolutely – can I show them the page? Is that Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so here's 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 the event, and, and what I love about about this, Elena, and you know what, I need to actually make a move right now because this isn't about me. This is about Elena. Let me bring her back onto the screen with me. There she is and now. So, Elena, what what I have on here is, is there's a ton of things that you're doing. You're doing a five day challenge, where over these five days, uh, they're gonna have. I mean, I love the human lie detector. And, and being able to, but you also nailed being in rapport and being able to really kind of have this advantage 
work for you. I mean, I got the millionaire mindset, the two day, or two minds individual. I mean, the, the decoding micro expressions. I mean, you come out of this and you got a two hundred dollar value on here, but I'm telling you to add a zero because if you bring this into the corporate world, if you bring this, if you're if you're commissioned, if you're paid based on, on on team performance, or if you own your company and you're just taking a piece of the bottom line home, this becomes a scalable skill. This is Absolutely. something I think that everybody needs. So Elena, uh, one question that, that I do want to ask you, and, and there's bonuses on, there's a ton of stuff. Um, I'm going to share this link in the, in the chat or in, in the description of, of this, wherever you're finding it. Maybe you're watching on YouTube. Maybe you're watching on any of my social medias or Elena's. Uh, you got all kinds of testimonials here too. Uh, very, very well laid out, very compelling. And I know this is it. If the, if, if the page to describe it looks this good, I only know the care you're putting into this as an event and you're going to care about their experience. Absolutely. And that also brings me to, you are doing this in such a way where you're going to use your new virtual studio, the one you and I just set up and, and, mm -hmm. and you're really the, the people that, that go through what you're going through. I mean, and, and, and we've talked quite a bit about the way you care about the experience. And, and you care about them taking enough value from this that they can go do something with it. So, so talk to me just, just for a moment about why, why is it important to you to be able to deliver an experience that is more than just a share screen? Because I want, well, first of all, this has is giving me the opportunity to, to have uh, uh, an extremely powerful presentation. I, Everything that I do, it's important for me to come across as, as a professional. And this OBS really will deliver that um, because the content is top of the line. So I need the presentation to match what I'm teaching. Ah, very similar alignment now, isn't it? This is kind of like like body language for the presentation. How does it look? How does it feel? Um, and it d does it match? So yeah, I mean, you, your content's at such a level where they'll, they'll be consuming it and and going through and, and absorbing. And we only pick up a small portion first time through. So whatever we can do to keep them engaged, keep them, listen, if it's a share screen narrated PowerPoint, I find that they're, they're off on their phone, they're off doing something else, they're checking email in the background. We really need to, to secure their attention and then hold their attention. And so by, yeah. by keeping them as part of the presentation, it, it becomes inclusive, it becomes engaging, and then extremely compelling. Um, and I know that they're going to want to um, attend this again. This is in March, early March, like 11th through 15th. Uh, I'll put the link here in the chat um, or in the description, wherever you're watching this. Elena, it was an absolute pleasure having you on today. Uh, is there anything you'd like to leave them with? No, I mean, if anybody's interested, all they have to do, I want to uh, check the body language uh, link. And I just want to say thank you for, you know, giving me this opportunity right here, right now. Very cool. Awesome. Elena, uh, I'm going to sign off here. Thank you very much. It was great to have you.